So welcome everyone. This is our 2021 senior class exhibition. Um, huge applause. Yes, please. Um, so I want to introduce the group. Um, and as uh, we go, well, first I wanted to uh, um, let one of our seniors who designed our website, the website is the exhibition. We'll drop the link in the chat. <laughs> um, so check out the website. I'm gonna also stream it as we uh, walk through it. Riley uh, Rosa, she designed the website along with Jasmine uh, and Nicole. But Riley's gonna have a couple of words to say about the website. And then each senior is just gonna briefly introduce themselves and talk about their project. Um, and I'm also gonna scroll through their sites as we do that. So let's get started. Um, Riley, let me pull the website up. And the floor is yours. Hi. So like Chris said, my name is Riley. Um, and I collaborated with Jasmine Hoagland and Nicole Isaac on the design for the show. So for this website, I really wanted to, to make something that's like really easy for you to explore and to find the projects that might interest you. So you see all of our names are in the middle. And then when you hover over them, you get a little image of each of our projects. So you can get a little taste of what they're going to be. Right. Thanks. <laughs> and um, I'm going to just go straight down our list of presenters. So uh, Jasmine, would you like to introduce yourself? Um, hello, everyone. I'm Jasmine. Um, and I'm nervous. <laughs> um, and I also made a project uh, called Bite Sting Heal. Um, Bite Sting Heal uses self written fables to personify the inexplicable hurt that results from emotional trauma. I made a series of hand drawn animations and installed them in a way that symbolizes the intimacy involved in personal growth. My installation of the animations is crafted to mirror the non linear and individual path to healing. For those who have been able to overcome fears, insecurities, and scars, I hope you will be able to take a moment for self-gratitude. Uh, Bite Sting Heal is a reflection of my own personal experience, but oftentimes I find that I have a much easier time sharing if someone else goes first. Um, so thank you all for being here today and taking the time to look at all of our work. Thank you, Jasmine. Uh, Jessica. Hi, so my name is Jessica Mazur, and uh, my capstone project is called Revive Goods. Um, it's a furniture collection derived from upcycled materials. Each piece in the collection doubles in functionality uh, as a planter with live plants incorporated into its structure. This collection is inspired by both the natural world and the process of collecting, designing, and restoring furniture that I love so much. Um, it was created with the intention of being used for a lounging or living space. And the collection is composed of a coffee table, two chairs and two lamps. And yeah, that's it. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you, Jessica. Nicole. Hi, that's me. Um, hello everyone. My name is Nicole Isaac and my project is called That Little Voice. So this project combines two of my favorite interests, illustration and storytelling. And it is a webcomic and also a set of illustrations that detail my experience with imposter syndrome. And my goal for this was to express myself almost as like a mini therapy session, as well as bring awareness to imposter syndrome, since it's a pretty common phenomenon that not many people know about. Um, and thank you for being here, everyone. Thanks, Nicole. Katie. OK. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie. Um, I made a short 3D animation that expresses my anxiety over this past year towards graduation and what comes next. So it shows the struggle of not really knowing exactly what you want to do with your life or what you want to do after graduation and wanting to take your time and explore all your interests, but feeling surrounded by hustle culture and the perception that everyone else is really far ahead of you and is already reaching their goals. So thanks for coming. Thanks, Katie. Chrissy. Hey guys, um, my name is Chrissy Drobish and my senior capstone is called Banana. So basically Banana is a label given to some Asian Americans who don't really follow a common stereotype. Therefore, they're viewed as yellow on the outside or white on the inside. 
It's a series of animated drawings that touches on the topics of the model minority stereotypes and minor feelings. Um, it takes a glimpse of the lack of self-love that many Asian Americans face growing up in white dominated towns as Asian Americans are least likely of all minorities to live in homogeneous neighborhoods. Thanks. Thanks, Chrissy. Jenna? Oh, hi, <laughs> I'm Jenna Sadaski. The title of my project is Reclaimed and Restoring. My video looks at different negative emotions represented by color. Throughout the project, my goal was to identify the problems that I've had let run my life. I recognized and accepted those problems and began exploration through self-improvement. My video depicts a journey of repair through destruction. Thank you. Thanks, Jenna. Jordan. Hi, everyone. My name is Jordan Dudlett. Uh, the name of my project is called Stay for a While. Uh, this project is an exploration of the ways that we can reverse the detrimental effects of consumerism by recycling fabric scraps. And I wanted to find a way to take this waste and make it into something useful. So when I came to the chair, it made sense seeing as chairs have a long history of marking certain time periods throughout history. And I thought what better way to represent the mass consumption culture that we live in than to use chairs as a platform to make a statement about the world we live in now and the waste that we sit on. To me, it kind of represents how now is the time to start thinking of better ways to manage and recycle our waste. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you, Jordan. Jordan Guzman. Uh, hi, I'm Jordan Guzman. My project is called Through Sleep to Private Eyes and um, it, it takes the player through a simulator of di different symptoms that, they, that people suffering from sleep deprivation go through. So you're constantly having to deal with all these symptoms while trying to do a, a bunch of different tasks and objectives. And thank you guys for coming. Thanks, Jordan. And you can download Jordan's game from the site as well. Caitlin. Hello, my name is Caitlin Cagle. My capstone project is Company Kept. I know <laughs> that's the title of the thing. I'm sorry. Overlooked Moments. Um, it's a series of small hand stitch embroideries that highlight some of the small joys in life that often go overlooked. By observing and admiring the small details in the embroideries, I, it reminds you to slow down and take notice of these small details in life. I aim to encourage others to use these moments as a form of meditation and appreciation for the world around you. Thank you, Caitlin. Greg. Hi, I'm Gregory Kane, and my senior project is called Small Wonders. It's a fictional assortment of insects, arachnids, and other tiny life forms made of trash that inhabit an ecosystem of garbage. The piece aims to direct people's attention to climate change, environmental toxicity, and its impact on vertebrate life. Small Wonder scales these creatures to fantastical degrees and tells a story through their biographies, getting us to appreciate the inhabitants of a world physically and metaphorically beneath our feet. Thanks, Greg. Theo. Hey guys, um, I'm Theo Giordano. My project is called The Inconvenience Store. So basically the inconvenience store is a collection of fictional products that are designed to contrast the core principles of industrial design, those being form, function, and efficiency. Uh, my idea came from my brief journey as a, a amateur industrial designer trying to figure out how I can elevate my skills to the next level. And I realized that I could only get so far until I learned and practiced these three cornerstones relentlessly. And I thought of what more fun way to do that than to make products and designs that were exhibited the exact opposite, basically. Um, it sounds counterintuitive, and it kind of is, but I truly learned a lot through this experience. It was really fun, and I hope that viewers can learn a little bit more about how fun design can be through my project. Thank you. Thanks, Theo. Natalie. Hi, I'm Natalie Phillip. My project is called Play Stupid Games, Win Stupid Prizes. It's a board game about depression culture in, on the internet. A lot of it reflects my personal experiences growing up with social media and how online de depictions of depression portray it vastly differently from how I personally experienced it in my life. Thanks, Natalie. Riley. Hi again, my name is Riley Rosa. My project is titled Pink Tiles, Hidden Piles, Dreamy Child, Riley Lies. It is a multimedia project consisting of four quilts and a series of videos 
that represent their makers' memories, fears, and faults. Throughout the production and present presentation of these quilts, I express and explore my identity, emotions, and memories through performance, video, and handcrafted objects and costumes. Thanks, Riley. Tyler. Uh, hi, my name is Tyler Kui. Uh, my project title is It's Okay to Be Anxious, and it's just simply a four panel comic uh, explaining how to manage anxiety in a few ways to kids, um, to children. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming. Thanks, Tyler. Erica. Hello, I'm Erica Bolger. My um, project is called They Linger, and I my work is to express the truth that those who have died um, remain with us. It consists of 3D sculptures paired with audio clips of people recounting stories of their deceased loved ones. And the viewer is invited to play the audio clips and navigate through the sculptures and covering various stories and memories. So join in looking at the work, a, digitiza a, a digitization or of oral tradition commemorating the following people, Donald Tugarshewski, father of Christina Bolger, Andrew Radford, grandfather of Gabe Mayolo, Pamela Johnson, grandmother of Will Johnson, Gigi, great-grandmother of Justin Henriksen, Anthony Alameco, grandfather of Cameron Clifford, and Nanny Mary, grandmother of Thomas Bolger. Thank you. Thanks, Erica. So please visit the website. That's all of our work for the exhibition. Um, I'm just gonna open it up now to some questions, comments, shout outs, seniors, if you wanna shout out your classmates, uh, this would be the time to do it. Um, it's been a pleasure to work with you throughout the past year. Some of you I worked with more closely in the fall. I got to work with all of you this semester and we've had our, uh, let's say, ups and downs. But it's been great to see you all uh, dig into your projects. And I think the work that we're representing today is super strong. We have a great group of young creative artists here. So thank you for your time and uh, congrats, big congrats.